From the late 15th to the 19th century, the Spanish Empire emerged as a formidable force, leaving an indelible mark on world history and shaping the course of exploration, colonization, and cultural exchange. The dawn of the empire coincided with Christopher Columbus's voyages to the Americas in 1492, marking the beginning of the Age of Exploration. Spanish conquistadors like Hernán Cortés and Francisco Pizarro played pivotal roles in the conquest of vast territories in the Americas, including the Aztec and Inca empires. The influx of silver and gold from the Americas fueled the Spanish economy and played a central role in European trade. The Spanish Empire became a melting pot of cultures known as the Colombian Exchange. Despite the empire's grandeur, the Spanish crown faced challenges, including conflicts with European rival powers. The decline of the empire was evident by the 19th century, as Spain lost many of its American colonies amid the wave of Latin American independence movements. Fascinating fact, the Manila Galleon trade, established in the 16th century, connected Manila in the Philippines to Acapulco in Mexico, fostering a trans-Pacific trade route and cultural exchange between Asia, the Americas and Europe. From the 12th to the 13th century, the Kingdom of Jerusalem emerged as a unique geopolitical entity during the era of the Crusades, reflecting the convergence of European and Middle Eastern cultures in the Holy Land. Established after the First Crusade in 1099, the Kingdom of Jerusalem, along with other Crusader states, became a melting pot where Western European knights, nobles and settlers interacted with the diverse cultures of the Levant. The city of Jerusalem served as the heart of the kingdom. Crusader castles, such as Crac de Chevalier, dotted the landscape, showcasing military architecture that blended European and local influences. Leaders like Baldwin I and Richard the Lionheart played crucial roles in the kingdom's history. Despite being constantly surrounded by rival Muslim powers, the Kingdom of Jerusalem maintained a precarious existence through strategic alliances and military prowess. However, internal conflicts, shifting alliances and external pressures eventually led to the decline of the Crusader states, culminating in the fall of Acre in 1291 and the end of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. The Kingdom of Jerusalem's history inspired the movie Kingdom of Heaven offering a cinematic portrayal of the Crusades and the challenges faced by the Crusader states. From the late 6th to the 4th century BC, the Achaemenid Empire stood as a testament to the grandeur of Persian civilization, stretching from the Indus Valley to the Aegean Sea and encompassing diverse cultures and peoples. Cyrus the Great, known for his benevolent governance and religious tolerance, laid the foundations of the Achaemenid Empire. His successor, Darius the Great, expanded the empire and established the Persian Royal Road, connecting the vast territories for efficient administration and communication. One of the empire's most enduring legacies was the codification of laws under King Xerxes, shaping the foundation for later legal systems. The Achaemenids also pioneered the use of a standardized currency, the Daric. The Achaemenid Empire faced significant challenges, including conflicts with Greek city-states during the Greco-Persian Wars, the Battle of Marathon, 490 BC, and the famous Battle of Thermopylae, 480 BC, highlighted the clash of civilizations. The empire's decline came with the conquests of Alexander the Great, marking the end of the Achaemenid era. Fascinating fact. The Achaemenid Empire was one of the largest empires in ancient history, covering approximately 44% of the world's population at the time. From the 4th to the 6th century BC, the Huns, a nomadic confederation of Central Asian origin, 
swept across Eurasia, leaving an indelible mark as a formidable force and a perpetual challenge to established civilizations. Led by powerful leaders like Attila, the Huns embarked on a series of invasions that struck fear into the hearts of both the Eastern and Western Roman empires. Their mastery of mounted warfare, utilizing skilled horse archers, granted them unmatched mobility on the battlefield. Originating from the vast steppes of Central Asia, the Huns migrated westward, creating a wave of disruption that affected various nations and tribes. The Battle of the Catalonian Plains in 451 BC, where Attila faced a coalition of Roman and allied forces, marked a pivotal moment in their incursions. Although not a decisive victory, it curbed the Huns' westward advance. Attila, often referred to as the Scourge of God, negotiated with both Roman empires, extracting significant tributes. His death in 453 AD brought an end to the United Hunnic Empire, and the Huns gradually faded from historical prominence. Fascinating fact, the sudden appearance of the Huns on the European stage during the 5th century BC caused widespread panic and prompted the so-called Völkerwanderung, the migration of various Germanic and Hunnic tribes, reshaping the demographic landscape of Europe. In the 4th to 2nd century BC, the Maurya Empire, led by Chandragupta Maurya, rose to prominence. Established in the 320 SBC, its capital, Pataliputra, became a hub of culture and administration. Under Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BC, the Maurya Empire reached its zenith. Renowned for his rock edicts, Ashoka advocated for moral governance, religious tolerance and social welfare. Prosperity flowed through the empire's extensive road network and vibrant trade routes connecting India to the Hellenistic world. Ashoka's conversion to Buddhism after the Kalinga War, 262-261 BC, left an enduring impact, influencing the spread of Buddhism with principles of non-violence and compassion. The Maurya Empire witnessed significant battles, including Chandragupta's conquest against the Nandas and Ashoka's transformative experience during the Kalinga War. The Arthashastra, attributed to Chanakya, provided insights into statecraft, economics and military strategy. Despite its achievements, the Maurya Empire waned over time. Its legacy endures in classical Indian civilization, influencing socio-political landscapes. Ashoka's rock edicts were inscribed not only in Prakrit, but also in Greek and Aramaic, reflecting the empire's diverse cultural connections. From the 9th to the 3rd century BC, the Scythians, a nomadic confederation, roamed the vast Eurasian steppes, leaving an indelible mark as skilled warriors and horsemen. Some view them as the first equestrian people in history. Their culture passes over into the Hungarians, but also into that of the Huns. Hailing from the Central Asian steppes, the Scythians' mastery of mounted warfare made them formidable adversaries. Their nomadic lifestyle centered around herding and seasonal migrations, enabling adaptability to diverse landscapes. Scythian art, such as intricate golden artifacts, showcase their craftsmanship. Their nomadic tombs, including the famous Pazaric burials in the Altai Mountains, revealed a rich tapestry of their cultural practices and beliefs. Herodotus, the ancient Greek historian, provided valuable insights into their customs and society. While the Scythians lacked a centralized political structure, their confederation maintained unity through shared cultural practices and a warrior ethos. Atias, a legendary Scythian warrior king, led the Scythians in their last conflicts against the Sarmatians, showcasing their resilience and military prowess on the international stage. Fascinating fact, the Scythians were known for their tattooing tradition. Herodotus mentioned that each Scythian had a tattoo representing their kills, creating a visual record of their martial achievements. In 1701, 
the Kingdom of Prussia emerged as a formidable power in Europe, marked by the visionary leadership of Frederick William I, known as the Soldier King, Prussia laid the foundations for disciplined governance and military prowess. Three quarters of taxes are spent on the military. Discipline, punctuality and hard work are typical Prussian virtues. Prussia's rise to prominence was catalyzed by figures like Frederick the Great, Frederick II, the so-called Old Fritz. The 18th century witnessed the military triumphs. His strategic brilliance was evident in conflicts like the War of Austrian Succession and the Seven Years' War, solidifying Prussia's status as a European powerhouse. The experience of the Napoleonic era, his entry into Berlin 1806, left an indelible mark on Prussia's identity and fueled a sense of German consciousness. The 19th century brought a transformative era under Chancellor Otto von Bismarck. Through calculated diplomacy and military campaigns, Bismarck orchestrated the unification of German states in 1871 after the win against France forming the German Empire with Prussia at its core. However, Prussia's militaristic approach contributed to geopolitical tensions in Europe. The militarization of society left a lasting impact on Prussia's historical narrative. Fascinating fact, the Iron Cross, introduced by Frederick William III in 1813, became a symbol of Prussian military valor. In the 3rd century AD, a formidable force known as the Ostrogoths emerged on the historical stage. Originating from the vast steppes of Eastern Europe, the Ostrogoths, alongside their counterparts, the Visigoths, constituted one of the branches of the larger Gothic tribal confederation. Under the leadership of King Ermanaric, the Ostrogoths played a crucial role in the complex tapestry of migration and conflict during the migration period. However, it was under the reign of Theodoric the Great in the 5th century that the Ostrogoths reached their zenith. After establishing themselves in the Western Roman Empire, Theodoric led his people in creating a kingdom in Italy. The Ostrogoths left an architectural legacy, notably through the construction of monuments like the Mausoleum of Theodoric in Ravenna, showcasing a unique blend of Germanic and Roman artistic elements. The end of the Ostrogothic Kingdom came with the Byzantine reconquest under Emperor Justinian I in the 6th century. The Goths holding Rome capitulated, and at the Battle of Mons Lactarius in October 553, Narses defeated Teus and the last remnants of the Gothic army in Italy. Fascinating fact, a huge part of the Byzantine reconquest was led by the famous General Belisar. On of my favorite songs for 2024 worships exactly this general, Belisarius, by Faria Faraji.